Grandview Golf Club, everybody's favorite Western Pennsylvania golf course. Gorgeous views off the first tee from the clubhouse, pretty nice. This used to be my one of my favorite courses. I live pretty close to it, so I go pretty often uh, since moving away. I haven't really been back much, and today kind of justified that. As much as I love the course for its goofy, funky, fun layout, I just was in such bad condition today. There's a good missed par putt. Um, I just, it just didn't, yeah, it just left a foul taste in my mouth and don't need to go back. Um, hit the ball pretty well today. Right here we got a nice little, you know, 100 yard, 140 yard shot down the hill. Left it short though. Um, just really couldn't convert anything these first couple holes. Hit a nice little chip there. After how slow the green was on the first, I thought that would kind of just check up and hold, but it rolled out. Um, not sure what's going on with the putting here to start off, but you know, that's how it is. This shot here off this awesome tee box, look at that, looks pretty bad because the uh, shot tracker's drunk. Uh, it was just over those trees, uh, just on the right side of the fairway. Kind of, kind of perfect, honestly. Um, kind of sliced at that little approach shot, had it flare out a little. Uh, pin high, just right though. Um, not too bad. But like, look at the look at the fringe around that green. Everything's just clumpy and muddy. You can't really tell, but these greens are so so slow and so bumpy. Um, it's just I don't know. The course used to be really fun because of how funky it was when it was in good condition. But I mean. There wasn't a good tee box on the course. All the greens were the same. I mean, look at this. I'm in the fairway, and you're lucky to find a patch of grass. <clears throat> this hole's super hard, this this uphill shot right here. I never get the distance right. Kind of cooked that one a little too much. And this ball's basically at my waist, so I was just lucky to get it on line. Ah, there. And look at this putt. Awful, awful, awful. So short. <laughs> I mean, if you play any sort of regular greens, those are just, I mean, so bad. You know, that's just bad putting. You can't really blame that on the green, but pretty poor. Like, look at this tee box. What are you talking about? This this is like one of my favorite holes because look how, it's like basically an island green out there. I hit this one a little right and caught the only rough that's gonna hold a golf ball, but you know, and then I like this course because it gives you these goofy lies off of bad shots. Like, if you hit a bad shot, you're going to be penalized for it here. Um, you know, like, that's that's a tough bogey. I missed the green by, what, 10 feet? Uh, didn't really have a chance to hold that ball anywhere near it. Look, look at this Look at this view, though. It's definitely an aptly named golf course of the steel mills down there. And you can see Kenny Wood. This was one of the better shots of the day. Just went for it with a three wood came up a little left here uh, good chip if, uh, if the pin was like 12 feet shorter of where it is um, hit a really good putt here uh, just kind of blasted it in said uh, you know they're slow just hit it hard look at that tee box what is happening at this golf course so normally when I used to play this course all the time I'd hit driver everywhere and I don't understand how I would do it because my driver was nowhere near as accurate as, as it has been lately. Um, but I just decided, screw it. You're already, what, five over, four over, five. Just hit driver. Got really lucky with a nice one. Hit a really nice second and a really nice putt. So I'll take back to backs any day of the week. Um, this whole eighth is pretty uneventful. It's pretty long uh, for how tight it is up there. Probably should have hit something a little bigger than that three hybrid. Uh, I thought this ball would move right to left. There's a little hill there. You guys can't really tell on the camera, but it didn't. It just kind of stuck right there. Um, not a bad chip here. Should have been a pretty easy up and down par if I was any sort of competent putter. But yeah. So five over, going into nine. Terrible tee box again. Look at this. Like how? I just don't understand how how this happens. I uh, hit this one way up on the hill, probably not as high as that tracker shows, but it rolled the whole way down get uh, get right next path. to the cart path roll. here. So, kind of how you play this hole. You can hit it long and it'll roll back, but again, downhill. Now I have an uphill putt. Just smack it. Hope it. Yep. All right. Lucky. Right <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, okay, five over through nine. This drive hooked horribly and it was dead grass over there, rolled all the way over the 17th green and down the hill. So I'm just trying to find any sort of the golf hole again. Overcook it a little too much, have to punch out now. So that's my third. Hitting your fourth as your approach shot on a par five from 160 away is not what you want. But put it pretty close. Uh, not a bad shot at all from 160. Uh, this putt, thought it was going the whole way, but no such luck. Another bogey. We'll call that. We're, we're, we're counting that. Don't give me any shit, guys. <laughs> Did a nice one here. Downhill, par three. Uh, really nice tee box again. I know I'm just sounding like a broken record, but I just I wish this course was uh, in better shape because it is goofy. It's fun. It's one I'd like take. I like to take people from out of town to because if they're used to playing flat, like you know Midwest golf or Florida golf or something like that, you take them to Grandview, and it's just like a completely different game to what they're used to. Um, like look at this, hit a perfect drive, just a little left, but the ball's like six feet below my feet. And you gotta hit a shot that, you know, you miss the green, you're in the woods, basically. <laughs> but getting back on track here a little bit, um, two pars in a row after this putt drops, there you go. So a little bit um, more consistent now. Um, heading to the 13th, six over, uh, got another little dog leg right here, kind of goofy, have to hit like the perfect shot. I was a little long, but got lucky that it didn't hit some cart path and get into the end of the shit over there. I once saw, there's a huge hill on the right side of this hole. I once saw a cart just careen down, smash into the woods on this hole. <laughs> the two guys that were in it were okay. They were old guys and they were just completely lost, but whew, man. This hole is nuts. It's, play, it's 150, it plays like 110 because it's like, 800 feet of elevation can't even see the green but trust me it's down there somewhere <laughs> um, you hit this ball on the green and it it's the divot is so deep you have to get a shovel sometimes it's crazy um but three straight pars now hit a hit a chip that's just short again but get lucky with this putt just ram it in there from 15 16 feet so this is awful shot right here yeah really bad really really bad <laughs> really 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 bad so drop up there on the right for my third uh, again thought this ball was gonna move just a little bit more than it did um, bad shot tracker but it's on the right side of the green um, thought I might get lucky here no, for a par but I'll take that you know ball out of bounds not out of bounds, ball in the penalty area hit a five get lucky uh, this is the worst hole on the golf course uh, this might be the worst hole in Pennsylvania might be the worst hole in the country uh, it is impossibly hard the green is so small um, left to right at some point in the back where the, the flag is is like six feet it's stupid you miss it anywhere on the right it's gone anywhere on the left it might bounce off onto the green over the green gone it's just it's insane like that's that's a bad I was putt. Right, I was like, that's just impossibly sloped. Um, I, don't know, I just hate that hole. Another four iron off the tee for me. My buddy Chris did not like that. He wanted me to hit driver, but <laughs> that was a perfect shot. What do you mean? What am I hitting an iron for? Fucking driver. I did play another shot. ball on this and hit driver and almost drove the green. So maybe it is the right play, but just such a small landing area up there. This ball's way above my feet. Can't really tell on there. Um, but it starts off a little right of the green and just kind of goes crazy left. Um, but get lucky here with a decent chip. Get up and down for par. Yes, sir. So after putting terribly those first four holes, I, I made some really good putts uh, throughout the day. And then I just smashed this drive. Absolutely torched it uh, up the hill, right in the middle. Uh, got a shot at getting on here in two with the four from 210. A little squiggly on the uh, shot tracer there, but it, I, it never left the pin the whole time. So I was pretty lucky. Um, got away 
14 footer here. Thought this was going in, just cooked it a little too much. It broke, it just broke after the hole. Yep. I'll take a tap in birdie to end it. I'll take that all day. 77, I uh, hope you guys liked it.